a shade on rail or uh, there's no shade on any of our roads because they just kind of go wherever they want. Um, also, they tend to just go straight up mountains, so it's very hard to hike up. So, I recommend uh, avoid roads at all costs. Also, the chaplains out here, they like, they they seem to drive like they're, they're, they're wild. Don't Jeez. just don't trust them. If you see a chaplain coming, you better run. <laughs> um, but yeah, so these are all our roads. They're all marked by I call them equal signs. They're just two parallel lines. They're going to need to be broken up. So these are all broken. Um, these red ones are emergency roads. Uh, the black ones are just four-wheel drive roads. Then continuous, which I don't see any. He's, uh, yep, this one, a continuous um, parallel line. This is an improved road. And then our brown roads are out of service roads. The brown and red is hard to um, tell. That's brown. red. Here, there's a brown. brown. There's a brown. Yeah, so this is brown. Um, they're kind of hard to tell between the brown and red if you don't like look at both of them at the same time. So if you are going to hike on red, sometimes you will have to. Uh, when you're looking, if you're planning to hike in, um, out of service, be very careful and paying attention to where you're going because they're very hard to follow. And the hardest part is honestly finding it. Once you're on it, you can generally get going, but uh, most of the time they're super overgrown at an intersection because they don't go onto them anymore. Uh, other than that, uh, we do have highways. Um, you're never gonna hike on these because we're just gonna keep going further and further away from them. Um, and then this is our burn area. So don't hike on highways, don't hike in the burn. Red, red's dead. Um, no one's allowed in here at all. Uh, flash flood warning are a huge problem right now. Trees falling are a huge problem. Just avoid it at all costs. But you luckily, again, you guys aren't going anywhere near there. All righty. Other stuff. Um, what? Go to Gobble Gulch. <laughs> no. Dude, we need to visit Crag. <laughs> oh my god. Is it Crag Creek? Crag Camp. Camp. Oh. Oh. Speaking of camps. We're not though. going back to the Crag, Ryan. <laughs> no. Speaking of camps, we got two different types of camps. We got trail camps and staff camps. So tonight, we're staying at Olympia which is a trail camp, you can tell because it's got a little teepee. Um, all the trail camps are marked by teepees, you know, teepee, 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 teepee. Those are all trail camps, there's no staff there, you just show up and I'll tell you guys what to do when you get to Olympia uh, as for uh, trail camp etiquette. And then we have staff camps. Staff camps are all marked by log cabin, so log cabin, log cabin, log cabin, log cabin, log cabin. Um, those are all staff camps, so there's a staff member there, generally they have program, something for you to do. Um, a brave staff cabin. So this is gonna be staff camp. That's what we're talking about. Like we're gonna try to get as much training done today. So tomorrow to brave, just free for all. Have fun. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. Um, yes. Yeah. So uh, next thing, uh, contour lines. Does anybody know what contour lines are? Yes. Mm -hmm. Cool. Mm -hmm. uh, you want to try? You want to explain them? I do. I do. Yeah. I do. Okay. Go for it. So it's basically, they're kind of showing changes in elevation. Bingo. And yeah, the closer they are together, the faster you're changing the elevation and the more pain it will be. Perfect. <laughs> exactly what they are. Um, you can see uh, like on Tooth Ridge, they're going super steep. Uh, you can tell if you're going up or downhill by water and X's. X's mark peak. So this is Schaefer's Peak right here. And Tooth Ridge, or Tooth of Time is a peak. So both of those have X's. So if you follow those contour lines up towards them, that means you're going uphill. And you can see how steep that is. That's why there's all those switchbacks coming down. Uh, we call, where is it? We call this one the staff trail because it's, it's straight up and no one's dumb enough but staff to take it. So, <laughs> I would know. yeah, we, we, we don't care, so we just go for it. And this train, this one's just way too long. But um, you can also tell by where the water is. Uh, water always flows downhill, path of least resistance. Yep, you see this river running through. Um, if you follow the contour lines down towards that water, it means you're going downhill. Uh, again, steeper the or closer they are together, the steeper it is. So if you look up on your Rock of Mesa, it's pretty much just flat. Um, there's very few elevation changes, but here, super steep. Um, each of the contour lines here are 50 feet uh, in change. If you don't remember that, there is on the other side of the map, so you can see it. But you know, you just flip over. Um, other important things: uh, all the borders. So these dotted and dashed, it looks like Morse code lines, are borders. Uh, the Philmont border, though, is highlighted in this grayish purple color uh so even here they cost it a gavilon which is a little hotel they own that land they keep trying to sell it to us for a dumb amount of money it's not happening How but get there is there this little road okay and it's just kind of they're like go ahead and yeah it's it like up. cuts through yeah um so there are we do have the property everywhere uh you can see <laughs> down here which is just the dotted and dash this shows uh the uu bar ranch um you'll see somewhere it'll say or here uu bar uh it'll label it every once in a while um around here so Luckily, you guys aren't really going off property, so you don't have to worry about it. Uh, but are we sure about that? Where's Tooth of Time? Oh yeah, you guys are going to Chase Cow, right? Yeah, we're going to Garcia. Oh yeah, Garcia Cow. That's like that's just they call it super south because that's like down there. 
<laughs> yeah, so you guys are like off property, but um, luckily uh, you guys don't have to do leave no trace camping because that's a pain. You don't have any bear cables there. Um, mm. Off property stuff, we generally call that low impact camping or leave no trace camping. <laughs> so we don't have any of these trails made. Uh, you, hit, you either swack your way, which is pretty much you shoot a bearing at the camp and go for it. Uh, you call it, do what's called meadow walking. So anywhere you're hiking on, actually anywhere, uh, there's no trail and you're trying to get somewhere, you meadow walk. So don't walk right you behind somebody. Yeah. Trails. Yeah. Uh, trails. I just have a use now. <laughs> yeah, so like spread out, don't walk, walk behind somebody else so we don't create an accidental trail. Um, and then also with off the property stuff, we don't have fire rings, bear backs, or sumps, which I'll teach about sumps. There's no designated campsites or anything because off season, that's not our land. Uh, he's, oh, you're going to human sump stuff? You don't have to. But, oh my gosh, okay, cool. <laughs> but yeah, then on property, we have what's called concentrated impact. So we have all these trails and roads because this is our land. Um, there's no reason we'd sell it in the for any foreseen future um, unless something wild happened so we can do all these trails um, they can stay here as long as we want because we're going to keep using them all righty um, any questions then so, thus far yes yeah, where's the tooth of time tooth of time right there that grizzle oh tooth of time yep. right there so. yeah uh, mm -hmm. you can do uh, all like the major peaks are labeled so tooth yeah. of time Schaefer's black mm -hmm. you guys are going over black right yeah, yeah. perfect yeah. that's black um, keep in mind the contour lines yeah, it's, uh, yeah, it's steep. Yummy. Yeah. Coming yeah. down this side, it is rough. Uh, sheep camp. That's exactly what we're doing. Sheep yeah. Camp. Sheep camp. <laughs> cool. Sheep camp. 